Okay, this is a video on how to uh, basically return your Android phone to what it was when you first got it. So in other words, we're gonna clear out the phone to the factory default settings. And uh, you wanna do this, uh, in this case, this is a Droid Razor Max, which I replaced with an LG G3. So it's an extra cell phone. And uh, it was running slow um, last time I did it. And I cleared the cache partition several times, but I'm just gonna start it fresh. So I figured I'd make a video on how to start fresh. Uh, the first thing is you want it to have a charge, obviously, enough of a charge so it can run um, the whole reformatting process. And you're going to return this to the factory default. And you will also need your Google login. So that way you can log in and, and have it on the phone. So first thing you want to do is power it off, like I have here. And then you want to enter into um, the Droid triage screen which is power with the down and up volume buttons. And then if you notice, it has a boot up selection menu. Can't really see that that well because it's glowing, but um, you want to go where it says recovery. So it says volume down scrolls, volume up select. So you push the down volume button so you get to recovery, which is the second one. And then you push volume up to select recovery. It's going to reboot the phone into the droid triage screen. So you have to push the down volume button and then push the up volume button and then you get to this menu right here. And uh, it's the system recovery. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna wipe data factory reset. So you're gonna push down volume to get to the wipe data factory reset. And I know it's hard to read, but that's what it says. Wipe data uh, forward slash factory reset. And then you're gonna push the power button for enter and once you do this it's going to start you have uh, no going back on this it might ask you if you want to do it just to double check yes or no but uh you push the power button and then if it says confirm wipe of all user data so it's going to return the phone like you just got it brand new and you have to uh resign into google with your gmail account and everything so you have to scroll down to the volume button all the way to where it says yes delete all user data and if you notice it's right there push the power button to confirm can't be undone so once you do this it's going to reset you hit the power button and it starts reformatting it back to what it was when you first got it it's going to have all the uh, software that was pre-installed it and everything just like it came to you so if, if your phone has software that came pre-installed that you don't like I don't know of any way of getting rid of it. So now it's done, and you're gonna go to Reboot System Now, and you're gonna push Power On to select Reboot System Now. It's rebooting the phone, so this would be like you turning it on for the first time when you got it from the store, your cell phone provider store. Mine's Verizon. This would be like when they first power up the phone. This might take a little normal than usual because again, it's booting up for the first time like a brand new phone. And this should also work on uh, any Android phone as long as you can get to the uh, Droid triage screen, which is usually the same. A good thing to do if you're gonna keep the phone that you're gonna do this on is to uh, remember the apps that you've downloaded. Um, you can back that up to the Google account that you've used on the phone. You'll actually have installed software under the Google Play Store and you can reinstall it as you go. Any programs you bought under that Google account should be able to be registered still, so you don't have to rebuy them. Um, if there's a problem, obviously contact the app developer. But uh, I haven't had a big problem with that in the past when we're setting a phone. I just installed it, and it understood that I already bought it. So.
But again, you have to use the same Google account that you bought the app under. Okay, so this is just like when you first got it, it's preparing the device, setting everything up. Okay, so just like you first got it, it says what, what language, obviously I'm speaking English, okay. Um, my phone number is there on the screen, so that's why I have the phone uh, down here. But um, this shouldn't be uh, set up for Verizon, because basically my LG G3 is the one set up already. So push start setup. Okay, push next. I uh, backed up my contacts and stuff to the setup wizard. So, yeah. I don't need my contacts, but you would try to sync it with your contacts. Um, you can update yours with a back. There's some type of app called Verizon Backup or something that you can download, and you'd back it up before you do this. I'll leave that in the comments so that way you can do that before you read it. It says synchronize accounts. It doesn't know the email provider because you cleared it out. So we're going to go with Google, which means I'm going to push other here because it only has Verizon.net, corporate, and other. So I do other. And basically, this is where you set up your account. Um, I can't show you my information, obviously, but I'm going to enter in the Google Gmail address that I used for my phone when I first got it and also the password that I use. So you will need that uh, in advance. So I'm gonna enter that now. One thing that you might have to do is you might have to connect to your Wi-Fi before you do this, because it's gonna use internet. And if you have a phone like mine where they've disabled it from Verizon, because I have a new phone, that's my Verizon phone, um, you'll have to uh, connect to your Wi-Fi settings. So again, to do that, you would scroll down the menu, hit the cogwheel for setup, and then it brings up the Wi-Fi screen and you hit Wi-Fi and you find a Wi-Fi router that you like and you connect to it. It's connected so I can just push the back button now down here and back again and I'm back here. It's got to check for the email. Okay, so I push next after I enter my email and my password. There you go. So I went to the next screen. It says uh, inbox checking frequency. So you're setting up your email, basically. Um, you can make it go by default to that one. Notify me when email arrives. Honestly, I made a Google um, email address just for my cell phone. So that way I don't use it for email because I find it aggravating to have email sent over and over again. Obviously, I, I sync my other uh, important email things. Um, one important thing is probably to sync over Wi-Fi only. Because, again, this phone is not going to be hooked up to Verizon anytime soon. I'm going to use it for other things. Uh, again, I'll talk about that a little later, but I'm going to use it for other things. I'm not going to use it to make phone calls anymore for, for, through Verizon. So, sync email from this account. It uh, doesn't matter. I won't get any email from this account. It's just not really uh, used by me. Automatically download attachments and connect to Wi-Fi. Notify me, notify me when email arrives. So, we're all set. I'm just going to push done. Okay, you can give your account a name. It's optional. I'll just leave it as Gmail. I'm not going to put my name. Actually, I do have to put a name. So you have to put your name there or some type of name there. So I'm going to do that now. You put your name in it. You push next. It's being transferred to the email application. Once you're done with an email address, you push done with email. And it's going to check for media and all this stuff to set up your phone for the first time. Okay, it's got 46 new e messages because basically it got some emails from Verizon before. I never really bothered to look at them or delete them. Um, obviously, if yours is a new Gmail account <clears throat> that you don't use a lot, you shouldn't get a lot of email there. But it's just setting up all my apps. Um, again, you'll have to re-download the apps that you used to have. But uh, it'll be in the Google Play Store if you're under your... Uh, email that you entered for the phone it should be all set and you see that i have no 3g connection because again i'm not hooked up to verizon anymore but you can use anything over wi-fi so it's like a tablet now it's like a small tablet 
Okay, it's just having trouble connecting because it's trying to connect to Verizon, which is not going to. And honestly, I don't need the media. So if you want to find all like your MP3s and stuff, you can do that, but I'm just gonna push skip for now. Set up wizard. It says uh, locating uh, your phone location by GPS settings. I just push next. Okay, we're not going to use VCW location services anymore, which is Verizon, because basically this isn't going to be able to do Verizon, but the GPS still works. So I will use the GPS still. And the Google Wi Fi and mobile network location. Um, some people have privacy issues with it, but I don't. So it's going to use Wi Fi and GPS to locate this phone, which is a good thing, because if you lose it, you can track it. Push next. Okay. Now saying how to videos from Verizon, don't need it because I already use the phone. And if you have a Google account, you say yes. And they want you to sign in again. So the first thing was to set up an email. This is to sign into Google. So, and this will hook up to your Google Play store for your apps. So again, I'm gonna enter it in the same email address. I push done after I did that. Then saying that you're agreeing to the terms of services, you push okay. And it's signing in to your Google account. And you can set up your credit card to buy apps. I don't trust it, just me. So I'm gonna push not now. If I wanna buy something, I buy it on the spot when I download the app. And back up and restore. You can back up your apps and stuff. Um, this is where you can restore it as long as you use the Gmail address that you used. Um, I don't really need this because I'm starting off fresh, but again, if you just want to reboot your phone, this would be a good thing. It says restore from my Google account to this phone, so it restore all the apps that you downloaded. So I'm going to unclick this, but you might want to click this if you're just trying to, uh, you know, reboot your phone and you're still going to use it as a phone full functionality. So, so I push back if I get a, black, a blank screen, and it's just going to go through all the tutorials like when you first got it. I don't have to pay attention to this because again, I had this phone for over two years. And I'm just gonna push okay. And if you notice, it's back to your default phone. Everything that was default on it, including the default apps. Okay, and there's gonna be tutorials everywhere because it's like a new phone. So everything, everything that came with it. For example, this phone came with Madden NFL 12. Um, that was just installed right on the phone. So anything that came with the phone when you first got it, that's what you're gonna see here. So another good thing to think about is be hooked up to Wi-Fi when you do all this resetting. So that way when it downloads updates and stuff, it's gonna re-download re the updates as needed. It won't go into your data plan, okay? But um, one last thing to show you is how do I get to my apps if I didn't back them up? Well, you go to the Play Store, you're gonna add a Google account again, so you have to use the same account that you did before. So it's asking me about terms again. I push okay. Signing, and this could be actually the same thing, so. Maybe that was just a little bit of a bug. Okay, I'm not gonna set up a credit card. You can if you want to. It says keep this phone backed up with my Google account. I This is an extra phone for me, but if it's your main phone, obviously that might be a good thing. I push the, pl the play sign, and now I'm logged in onto my Gmail account. Okay, if I hit the menu button, see how it says my apps right here? If I go on my apps, it says everything that's installed on my phone. All, this isn't gonna include all the apps you ever downloaded under this Google account. Okay, so if you need to reinstall anything, you can just click on an app that you had and reinstall it. For example, uh, let me do Skype. So let me reinstall Skype. I pushed Skype because I already installed it. And I just push install again. And that way it knows all the apps that I already used. Okay. So it's being downloaded. But again, you want to do all your downloading and updating of apps with Wi-Fi so it doesn't use your data plan. That's it, install the app, it's installed. Skype's right there, and it'll just start up like your old apps, basically. Reinstall the apps you need, bring it back to normal, but that's how you do a factory reset. 
you notice how smooth and fast this is again? It's like a brand new phone again. And uh, yeah, it's useful to keep your old smartphones because you can do so much with them. Um, I might make another video in the future showing you some things that I've done. If your phone's basically wicked slow, you tried my uh, wiping your cache partition. I have a video on that. Um, that wipes out the temporary files that are clogging up your system, just like a, a PC, you know, with the temporary files. But uh, that's how you do it. And now it's just a phone that doesn't work like a phone, but works like a small individual mini tablet. So. All right, let me know if this helps. Bye.